Hello class, uh, my name is Antonio Mosquela and what I'm here to discuss is that competitive video games is in fact a sport. And where I'd like to start off is kind of what, what defines a sport. First of all, they require skill, that's obvious. You see a quarterback, he focuses mainly on passing, throwing, he focuses his whole career on that. And which is the same in esports, which is electronic sports. And from that, uh, okay. from that, you can see that the players in, in like in, in video games that they also focus highly on their own like say objective work where they have to go to this point like and from that they could outplay the opponent. They could also use strategy, also like in different games. You you have coaches in sports, football, uh, also in esports and in any type of sports. Uh, secondly, uh, I like to say that the similarities in esports is very much the same and same popularity. You have sponsors like in both sports and video games. Right now, uh, Geico, like a major auto insurance, has signed a partnership with uh, an esports team called Team Solo Mid, which is very, very huge. And also, uh, another thing, Red Bull, you know, it has a lot of athletes itself with, you know, mountain climbing, skydiving, they even uh, broke the sound barrier with one of the jumpers. And they have also sponsored a video game organizations such as like Opti Gaming. And yeah, and also, it has also gone far into enough where even the X Games are hosting tournaments. Yes, the X Games, like extreme sports, but this time it's video games. You don't really see that often. And they're even, like, they're competing for first, second, third, so gold, silver, and even bronze, which is like, crazy how far uh, electronic sports have come, which is to say, like, it's even growing more and more, such as sports. Like from last year, uh, in 2004, oh, two years ago, 2014, uh, League of Legends uh, actually hosted uh, the World Championship in Staples Center, and they sold out the whole stadium, which is completely crazy, because when you think about the whole stadium, it fits thousands of people in it. Like, so it, it kind of shows like, that Esports is the same thing like as actual sports. The similarities are there. And for my third one, it's for my third argument. Like it's global. Like it's everywhere. Uh, just like say football, you have it in Europe, China, Asia, uh, Australia, the United States. It's everywhere. They have world championships. They bring the best of the best to compete against each other. So. Yeah, that's my kind of closing argument that competitive video games is in fact a sport. All right, Antonio, uh, the proposition is clearly identified, so I think you do a good job on that. The contents are not really previewed. You just dive right into your argument, and you begin with comparisons. Uh, I, I Actually, you have a kind of a question instead of a secondary claim, and that is what's required for something to be a sport. And I think you want to make it a claim that says that video game uh, competitions have the same elements as sports. 
That should be the claim. And then tell us what those elements are. They are there are competitions. There's training that's required. There's coaching that goes into it. They engage in practice. Uh, there are audiences for the competitions. There are awards where people are rated uh, first, second, and third. They give out prizes, just as they do in all of these other sports. Here's some examples, and you can present some of those examples as you're pre doing that kind of thing. Then the second thing is the, that there are similarities to these other sports. And that's, I think, where you have to get more elaborate on uh, what the comparisons are. Because so far, all I've heard is stuff that talks about how it's a it's similar in competition, not in the sense of it being a sport. I I think I'm, the first question is, what's controversial about this? Nobody disputes that there's a competition. All right. So there's no controversy over that. They give prizes for the people who win the uh, tournaments. Uh, even if it's just the glory of your initials, I, I, that's how long ago it's been since I played a video game, you know, on, on the uh, computer board at the arcade, I mean, that's the, there's competition. I don't think anybody denies that it's competition. But you're making an argument that it's a, it's a sport. Why is that an important element? Why does it matter that we call it a sport? Is it treated differently? Do you get a different tax break? Or do people have greater social status if it's a sport rather than a competition? Um, I need to know why you're making this argument. And then the similarities have to be based on those kinds of things. Because the first thing that I think of when I think of a sport is some athletic uh, ability or agility that's going on. I engage in plenty of competitions, but I, you know. I did get a letter in high school in debate. I would never wear a letterman's jacket with my debate letter on it because I would af be afraid of getting my head pounded in by somebody who said, that's not a sport. And I'd say, you're right, it's not a sport. That's why I didn't think I would be able to do that kind of thing. <laughs> you know, Tell me why I'm listening to this argument and why it matters. You know, Because to me, I think that you're missing some of the things that are necessary for the competition, or excuse me, for the comparison. Now, internally, I do think that you have a little bit of a structure. I think they need to be phrased more clearly. Uh, but you do have uh, three distinct points. Uh, declarative sentences would help a lot more in keeping track of how the argument is developing. Your information is inconsistent in where it's being placed. Sometimes you make reference to things. I mean, I made reference to a whole bunch of stuff. I could be making all those things up. What proof do you have? Coaching video games? They coach video games? Who practices in these video games? You say the Staples Center sold out? Where'd you hear that? What comic book did you read that in? You know, I, that sounds to me like it's probably true. I'm not making this stuff up, but you know, where's the source on this? And I'm not getting any source citation for any of the information that you're presenting, and that's a problem. You need to be able to do that. We talked about that last week when we were talking about presenting the evidence. You need to cite the evidence as part of your argument. Um, I, I, a couple of the examples were okay. I mean, uh, Geico is apparently sponsoring somebody. I don't know who. Red Bull apparently sponsored some jumper, and I don't know who that is and why that is a. Uh, how is that an esport? You know, I, and I and I don't have any detail on that. That's a little bit confusing. The X Games thing is a little bit more specific, but X Games, you know, as far as I know, I mean, we, we're talking about BMXing or uh, snowboarding or any of that kind of stuff. That sounds to me like athletic competition, not playing poker or being really good at risk. You know, I don't think that playing risk would be people think, oh, that's a sport. You, know, you guys didn't even know what risk is? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you know, board game. So you, what you have to do is you have to distinguish the competition to the video games and show how they are sport-like. And I'm not sure that you've done anything except show us that they are, in fact, competitions. I did like the fact that you had a clear exit line. That helped quite a bit. OK, thank you. And apparently, you have stuff that you'll give me some other time. OK. Jeffrey.